Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this thick and bulky plaid crochet blanket. It's a beautiful throw blanket you could use. You could wrap it around the bottom of your tree as a tree skirt or just a nice throw blanket for your couch. But however you use it, it's gonna be a beautiful piece for your home and it's nice and thick and cozy. The yarn that I'm gonna be using for this project is Wool Ease Thick and Quick. This is Lion Brand Yarns, and it is a super bulky number six yarn, and it is on the heavy side. So it's a nice, thick, bulky yarn. It's gonna make an amazing, warm, and cozy blanket. So I'm using gray marble, and I'm using black, and do they call it black? Yes, they do, and I'm using Fisherman. Fisherman, which is this nice cream color. And the hook that I'm going to be using is a 12 millimeter size. Now this is a hook nook crochet hook. These hooks now have been discontinued, but you still may be able to pick up a few of them from We Crochet or Love Crafts, and I'll have the links in the description box on where you can purchase them. So now you can go over to the blog and get the pattern for free, but I'm just gonna show you the chart here to kind of give you an idea of how this blanket's gonna work. We're gonna have a square. So I'm gonna have 17 squares in width and 17 squares in length. Okay, so it's gonna be a square size and each square is gonna be five by five stitches. So I'm working this blanket in single crochet. So I'm having five, stitches across and then we're doing five rows. So if you want to alter the size at all, keep that in mind. So we're doing fives. Now, if we were to do a multiple of 10, we would be ending with black, but because I want them to end like a gray, start with a gray, end with a gray, you're gonna need an odd number of blocks in order to accomplish that, okay? So instead of even numbers of blocks, you're gonna want odd number of blocks if you wanna change this or alter it in any way. I know sometimes people would prefer maybe to work with a worsted or a bulky yarn. So in that case, you can alter your number of blocks. You just want to make sure that they're an odd number. Obviously, if you're working with a thinner yarn, you're gonna want to add more blocks in order to get a similar size. Now, I'm not gonna work through the entire blanket with you, so I'm gonna make a much smaller swatch to work you through this pattern. So what we're gonna do when we're working on the full size blanket is we're gonna chain out a total of 86, but because I wanna get through this quickly with you, I'm just gonna do 16. We're starting with the gray. We're gonna put a slip knot on the hook like this. And so I'd like you to chain out 86. Now what we'll do is work in the second chain from the hook and I'm gonna turn and look at these back humps and that back leg of the stitch is what we'll work into. And you're gonna work across five single crochet. So one, two, three, four. And now we're getting to the fifth. And what we're gonna do to change color, our first section of blocks is the gray black, pull through. What we'll do is we'll yarn over with the black. So we'll pull up that loop and instead of yarning over and pulling through with the gray, we're gonna yarn over and pull through with the black. Now what we're gonna do is crochet over the tails as we go here. So we're gonna keep going through the back humps and we're gonna do five now in black. So one, two, three, 
three. Four. And five. Okay, so now what you want to do is we want to make sure that this has got some stretch, but that this gray is being pulled along the back and not bunching out weirdly or anything. But we want to give it a tug so our blanket does have some stretch to it. Now I'm not going to crochet over that black tail anymore. What I'm going to do here, one, two, three, four. So we did our five, but on that fifth, we need to change color again. So let me work through that one one more time. So we're going through pulling up a loop. We're now gonna drop off the black and I'm gonna be really careful to keep my black to the right and my gray to the left. So we'll yarn over with the gray and pull that through. So now we need to crochet over the black tail as we work our way across, okay? Now, here's a little tip that I'm gonna give when you're coming to the end of your work. So now, if we were in the middle of our work here, you're just gonna keep crocheting over your tails and switching as you go. Now, when you get to the very end here, as you can see, we have to turn and come back. So for my very last block here, I'm not even gonna worry about crocheting over. So my first block and my last block, I'm not going to worry about crocheting over that tail because I'm just going to pick it back up when I come. So because I have a smaller swatch, I'm coming to the end quickly. But if you were working across the longer stretch, you're going to crochet over that black. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But now because I'm really coming to the last block, I'm not going to bother. So I'm just going to single crochet across the five. We can save a little bit on yarn, then that's what we do, right? So there you go. This is how my smaller swatch is looking, but you're gonna have your nice big blanket size. Now we'll chain one and turn. So now we're gonna have five rows in total where we're working with this color pattern because we want our square to be nice and square. So five stitches by five rows. So let's work across five. I pulled my yarn from the center of the ball so I have a little bit of a mess to work through at the start. So I've got that big chunk that keeps popping, flopping around. So one, two, three, four, okay. And now on our fifth, what we're gonna do is yarn over with the black. Okay, so pull through with the black. And this is how we're changing color throughout the entire blanket. Now what we wanna do is we need to crochet over the gray. So one, two, three, four, five. And now before I pull over with the gray, I wanna make sure I give the gray a tug, give my work a little bit of a stretch. I'm gonna drop off the black, keeping it to my right. Pull back up the gray and yarn over. And now you will continue to crochet across the black across, going back and forth. But for me, I'm to my last block, so that's okay. I don't need to crochet over the black tail. I'll just work across my five in the gray. and then I'll chain one and I'll turn my work again. Okay, so now we'll work 
across five. And on the fifth stitch, we're pulling up a loop. Okay, we're dropping off the gray. We are gonna pick up the black, pull that through, and now we need to crochet over our gray tail here as we work. So one, two, three, four, And on the fifth, again, I'm gonna just give my gray tail a tug. Always do this, make sure that that's all done before you change over your color. And then we pull through with the gray. You'll continue to crochet over your black, but I'm to my last block, so I will not crochet over that. I'll just go across my five stitches. So I wanted to work through that with you one more time. But now I'm gonna work up row four and row five. Well, I'll meet you up at row five to show you what we're gonna do when we're then changing over to the next color, okay? So you want five rows in total with this color pattern. Okay, so I'm working away here on my row five. Now the black, we can cut at this point, okay? You can cut the black off. We're gonna need to weave that tail, so you just wanna leave enough yarn for weaving, not too much. And then we're gonna be bringing in our cream color. So color C. So the next color block section is we're working cream and gray. So the gray is carried throughout the entire blanket. So now you can just pull your yarn out again from the center of the ball, which can be kind of messy, but I like working from the center if I can. I'm gonna move my black aside and I'm gonna put my cream now to the right. Still keep my gray to the left. And on this final stitch, I'm gonna pull through with the cream yarn. I'm gonna chain one and turn. So now this is the only time this block really is getting yarn carried. So we'll turn and I like to just crochet over that tail when I bring in a new color just at the start. So now we'll work across our five stitches in, in C. Okay, so I'm now gonna drop off the cream and we're gonna yarn over with the gray. So color A, dropping off color C, picking up color A, and then I will just crochet over the working yarn tail. I'm not gonna crochet over that tail anymore. Over the, and you can see how simple this pattern really is. Once you get the hang of changing the color, making sure you give that tail a tug before you change your color over. So now we're changing. You just wanna maneuver your yarn so that you're not having to be flipping yarn back and forth. So I'm just pulling my gray to the front so I can yarn over here with the cream. Now, again, you're working through along the blanket, you're gonna be crocheting over this, but because I'm to my final block, I don't need to carry it. I can just work across now in the cream. 
work my five stitches. Chain one and turn. Work back. Okay, so now what I do is I just keep that yarn over. I pick up my gray, pull it through, and then I'm crocheting over the cream tail here as I go. So now what we'll do is work a total of five rows where we're working our cream gray repeat. Okay, whoops. Get to that last stitch. You can always pull back work. Get to the last stitch and I'm giving my cream a little tug. I then need to pull the gray forward so I don't get twisted. Pull through the cream and then I'm just working across now in the cream. So what I want you to do is work your five rows just like that. Okay, so I'm on my fifth row right now. And now what we're going to do that's a little bit different, this is where you just need to kind of think about what's coming next. So this time I'm going to be going back to my gray block so I can just carry the gray along with me this time. Okay, so this final row, my yarn's getting stuck in there. So this final row, we are going to carry that gray along. Okay, and then we'll drop off the cream. We're picking up the gray, pulling the gray through, chain one. Now we can cut the cream at this point because we're leaving a tail for weaving so there is weaving but there's not tons of weaving which is which is good okay which is what we like so now we'll turn and we're starting back into the gray black pattern again so we're going across with a now in the gray and on the fifth stitch we can get the cream out of our way we're gonna bring the black back in now so on that final we will yarn over with the black pull it through and then we'll crochet over that little black tail and the gray as we now work across. I like to take those little tails through one block section only and then I have a little bit of tail just to weave back in the opposite direction to secure it. Okay so one two three four we're on the fifth stitch. We're going to drop off the black and that little bit of a black tail and then we'll be pulling up with the gray Okay, and now you'll be working through across still, so you'll keep carrying the yarn, but I'm to my final block, so I will just work across in the gray. So this is just a mini, obviously a little mini size. I'm sure I'm gonna make some sort of use out of this little swatch that I'm make, making, maybe just even a pot, um, I'm just trying to think what you call them. So just like a placemat to sit, you know, maybe my Christmas pots down or something. I'll just make use out of this little one, but you're gonna have this nice, big, beautiful blanket. So now what we're gonna do is basically work through what I did with you at the beginning, is we're now working four rows of our gray black color repeat. So I'll just work through a little bit here with you
These are just single crochet stitches. I know I'm working through them quite quickly. If you are brand new to crochet and you need to brush up on your single crochet stitch um, tutorials, then I can link those for you. But this really is a video for someone who already knows how to crochet. I'm just working through how to do this nice chunky plaid blanket. So on the last stitch, again, I always want to keep that I'm not twisting my yarn. So keep that in mind. Pull up the black. Now I could crochet over that little tail. Why not? Let's crochet it back in the opposite direction. Okay, so let's just work that's gonna save you a little bit of weaving if you do that and when we get to the last stitch this I'll actually snip off change back to the gray now I'm at my last block, so I'll just work across without carrying. Okay, so let's work up at the five rows of this color pattern, and then I'm going to show you how to edge your blanket. Okay, so I'm working on my last row now. You're just going to continue working. So in total, we're going to have 17. I've only got three, but you're going to go and you're going to keep working until you have 17 of these blocks. So 85 rows, 85 stitches across, 85 rows. So you're going to have a square. If you want to alter the size of this, if you want to keep going, make it longer, that's great. You're just going to need more yarn from than what I suggest for this pattern. So now because I want to do my black, the edging in the black, I'm going to carry this because what we're doing is we're ending. So we started with a gray black. We're going to end with a gray black. Okay. So what I'm going to do is carry along my black because I'm going to use it for the edging. But if you're somewhere in the middle, you're gonna cut, just like I did here, you're gonna cut off your black and weave the tail. But when you finish your blanket, this is how you'll do it, okay? So then we'll drop off the gray, done with the gray. So it's got a little snag. So I'm going to just cut my gray off because I'm done with the gray. Yarn over with the black and I'm just going to chain one. So now your options are is you could stop, do a little bit of weaving, weave some of these tails like this one for instance. I've already crocheted across it. So anytime you've already crocheted across it, all you need to do so take a yarn needle for super bulky yarn. This one will work, but it's a little tight. You can get some yarn needles with some really big heads on them. Then we're just going to weave back. It's good sometimes even if you can pierce through the yarn. Just going to secure it even more. Depending on how much tail you've got there got a little bit you can always try to even go back again just to make sure it's really secure but that's good this one here needs a little bit more weaving go one way and then back in the opposite direction okay so what you're gonna do is we're gonna start working down this side of the the side here of our blanket what we're going to do is a single crochet per row so when you work across your gray think one two three four five make sure you get five stitches work across the cream make sure you get five stitches 
the next gray, five stitches, and so on, so that you have 85 stitches down the side. Okay, so just keep counting. I find it's sometimes easier just to go in that small area, and I'm going to crochet over that gray tail. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I just count by fives, and if you do, you will end up with your 85 stitches, unless you've altered the size. So now we'll do the same thing with the cream. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing with the gray. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now what I want you to do is do an extra stitch at the end, okay? So that's gonna be our corner stitch. So let's do that stitch. So I've just added a stitch marker. This is optional. If you can kind of keep track, that's fine. But for the next round, and depending on how many rounds, you can really make your border as thick as you, you want, but I'll probably go around and do another um, round. So it's just nice to be aware of what that corner stitch is. So now I've done the corner stitch. One, two, three, four, five. We want to do five across. One, two, three, four. We want to do five across here. And I'm crocheting again over that tail as I go. Because we worked in the back hump when we started, it does really make it easy to see those stitches to work into. So then there's five across here. Okay, I'm gonna get another stitch marker. I gotta track down all my stitch markers for all four corners. So now I have one, two, three, four, five. So we'll do that extra stitch again. That's my corner. We turn the corner and then anytime you have tails along the side, why not just crochet over them? And then that kind of helps you with your weaving too. So I'm gonna continue now working my five stitches per block section up the side and come all the way back here and I'm gonna meet you up again. Okay, so I've worked all the way around and now I've worked one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do an extra stitch and I'm gonna get one more stitch marker. Okay, so I've added that marker in. Now what we can do is slip stitch and the first single crochet to join, chain one, and then we'll work single crochets all the way down to the marker, and then I'll meet you up. Now, when you get to the marker, you're gonna add three, just remove it, and you're gonna add three single crochet in that stitch to make a nice corner. Okay, and then we'll work across to the next marker. Okay, you should have fifth, well, not 15, 85. I have 15, you should have 85. You're gonna have all of your holiday serving items. So this is a nice, just heat pad. It's a heat pad, that's what they're called. I think it's gonna look really nice with my plaid decor. So work across, and you know what? You could even, I kind of like the black, but you could even do your edging 
in cream if you prefer. So once you get across to that other marker, just remove it. We're gonna add three single crochet into the marked stitch. Okay, so you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. You can see how nice the corner, the corners are coming out. So now just finish, work all the way around, make sure to add your three singles in the markers. Okay, so I'm coming up here to my final marked stitch. So I'm just gonna take that marker out. I'm gonna add three. Now, suppose that you would like to make your border thicker than this. What I would do is I would go back now in those, we have those three stitches, mark the centered one, okay? So then what you would do, again, every time you come around to that mark stitch, add three single crochet. And that's just gonna give you a nice corner every time. So you can keep doing that as large as you want to make this border. Okay, but this is all I'm gonna do here for this sample. I'm gonna slip stitch in my first single crochet to join. And then you can fasten off. Fasten that off and then just any tails now that still need to get, you know, go back in the opposite direction. Just deal with all of those loose tails and then your blanket is complete. Okay, so here is a needle that's got a really big, these plastic ones are great for the super bulky yarn. So you can just get this end out of the way. You're gonna weave it one way. And now to finish your blanket or your heat pad off, what's a great idea is just adding a personalized tag. I love adding personalized tags to all my items. Mine are from Brickbubble. You can order them online from brickbubble.ca. And you can get these little leather or metal rivets from Amazon and I will have links for these in the description box. There's lots of places you can get the tags on Etsy, Amazon. So now you wanna hammer these guys on. I'm just gonna snap it on here for the video, but you just find a place that you wanna put and then you can just, there are tags you can get that you can sew on as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell so that you stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.